Lawyers have been the stuff of jokes since long before the 18th century. And yet, I became one anyway. Good day to you. My name is John Adams, and I have been assured that you will understand when I request that you like, subscribe, and tap the small unbroken liberty bell down and to your right. My gratitude. As I have stated before, lawyers have long been the stuff of jokes. One that I can recall of my day is uh, a judge asked a prisoner, Do you have anything to offer before a sentence is passed upon you? The prisoner said, no, judge, I had ten dollars, but my lawyer took that. I did not say that they were all good jokes about lawyers. When I graduated Harvard in 1755, I did not pursue the ministry as my father had hoped, nor could I pursue the law as I had begun to hope, for this required two things, a lawyer to apprentice you, and a sum of money to afford said apprenticeship, of which I had neither. And so, instead, I made a choice that I do not think anyone expected. I became a school teacher. And to be quite plain, I was a dreadful teacher. I have nothing but respect for education, so much so that I included an admonition for the government to support education in my Massachusetts Constitution. However, I did not believe that I should be the instrument of that education. <laughs> but the opportunity presented itself, and in need of funds, I took the job. And I was dreadful at it. Fortunately, uh, later on in 1756, on August the 21st, the door opened to me. And an actual door, because Putnam, a lawyer in Worcester, agreed to take me on as his apprentice, and he opened the doors to his law library to me, so that I might pore over his books for the next two years, studying Justinian and reading over Vinius and Cicero, much to the detriment of my students. <laughs> I set them on their course for the day, and then I would retreat to my desk, where I would pore through the pages. It was not the best option for my students, and I pray their pardon for my neglect. If it is any consolation, after two years of study, when I went to be presented to the bar, I had everything prepared except for Mr. Putnam, who neglected to show up for my presentation to the bar. And after I was eventually admitted, I made the grand entrance of losing my first case because I had improperly filled out the paperwork. I hope that is some consolation. But it has always been my hope. As I put in my diary, I set out with firm resolution, uh, moreover, to commit no meanness or injustice in the practice of the law. The study and practice of the law I am sure does not dissolve the obligations of morality or of religion. And I pray that uh, lawyers have since become free of jokes about them. Hmm? I did not think so. Thank you for your time. A good day to you.